I forgot my coffee. <laughs> How do you guys drink coffee right now? It's fucking I'm, I'm not at night. Was it tea? Drink. This is like tea, like uh, echinacea, the honey, uh, <laughs> orange juice. Oh, you got like a little cocktail of, uh, oh, it's like, yeah, it's okay. You went to your kombucha spot and got a juice. I got a juice. No, I'm, well, I was coming. I feel like I was like, feel like, like I had like a sore throat and shit like that because yeah. the yeah. weather changed. So I was like, fuck that. I was like, time to kill this shit now. Right. Ooh. I don't play around. Is this what it means to be an adult? Yeah, you got to take care of yourself, bro. Mm-hmm. I'd be too run down. <laughs> no, you just want to wear cardigans and not drink juice. No, that's all. It's not a cardigan. It's a shawl collar, sir. It's a shawl <laughs> collar sweater. It's 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 autumn. It's fall time. You know what that means? It's cuffing season. I got to get ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got any lined up? my salsa classes? No, you're not. I'm going to start taking salsa classes? Where are you going to take them? Victor At Cruz. The, yeah, exactly. Get my Victor Cruz on. There's a salsa place by my crib. They're, okay. Should we take him as a squad? Yeah, squad up. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Hell doesn't I'm want not, to help. You know I'm not. You know I'm not. Yeah, Hell, you, ain't, you ain't doing shit nowhere. Hell. How do you not do anything? It's better for your knees. It is, really? Yeah. yeah and yeah, your yeah. knees are washed, so you need it. Yeah, my yeah, knees yeah. are washed. You, you'll be a better basketball player. Really? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah Maybe yeah. I might fuck with you. You'll be able to yeah, compete yeah. with your Chinese competitors. Uh-huh. Because you know why? They got the one-two step. That's why. All right, maybe. Maybe. Oh. What's your favorite dance move? The salsa. The Victor mm, Cruz seems very convenient. Yeah, that just happens what we're to just be. talking about. Yeah, no, I don't have a real, like. You don't I, have like I, a shoot. Can't do the shoot you, dance, right? Millie Rock. What you want me to? Millie, Millie Rock. Rock? No. Mm. Why would you have to like pick black like it a up. black move? Black it yeah. up. Mm-mm. I would. You could have said the worm. The Duggies my go to because I'm African American. I still go with the Duggie to this day. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a move from like what 2009 2010. I don't know. It's it's thriving in my in my body still. I like the Running Man. Running, of course you oh, do. Running man, yeah. Cool. Running man's cool. Do. If I could moonwalk, that would be the one. Yeah. Uh, did you just choose your persona to be Vanilla Ice? No. Yeah. It's just it chose That's, me. It, it really did just <laughs> yeah. choose you. It chose me. Mm. What is this sub podcast? Yeah. Eighty two. Yeah. Bring us in. Bring oh, us yeah. in, buddy. It's I'm one of your hosts. It's Luke Trevisi. Uh-huh. What's up, everybody? What's going on, I got, buddy? I got Lawrence Deloach here. Hey, what's up? And, and Briss Brainy. What's up? <laughs> What's up, everybody? He's trying to make a last minute fantasy football change before we get this oh, going. Oh, okay. No, you guys do your thing. I mean, no, yeah. We're, we're, it's, we're he's just not thing. with us. We don't right need now. him. Wait, you said number, this is sub episode 82, number 82, baby. That's Jason Witten's number, That's baby. Jason Witten's number. Speaking That's, of Jason Witten, they, they are playing the New York Jets on Sunday. Oh. The Cowboys are going to win this game. Oh, really? Yeah, Cow- yeah, Jets are trash. Why would you say that to my face? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> How could you? I'm they got sorry. those new uniforms. Do you guys care about the Yankees being in the playoffs? No. You know what? When it comes when it, when baseball season starts getting in the playoffs and the Yankees are good, I'm really into it. <laughs> You're convenient. Yeah. I'm yeah. Fan. I'm not gonna. I mean, listen. I haven't really watched baseball since David Justice. Yeah. And I and I've told people about this. David Justice, is my favorite baseball player ever. He follows me on Instagram. Yeah. No, um, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Awesome. Really? David Justice. David Justice follows me on Instagram. Let's see if Mike Piazza can follow me on uh, Instagram. I need Nomar Garcia Parra. Yeah. No more Garcia Parra. That's an old name from so followers, right? Oh, well, he's about it, to show us. Show the camera, too. This is one of this is his best credit, guys. Yeah. Caroline David, March Madness. Justice twenty three following. And how many followers? You should you unfollow have? him just so that we could see the follow he back has, button. Uh, he has four thousand. <laughs> oh, he's garbage. That's not even him. That's a fake account. You know, you that's, this is really David. <laughs> Just, you know, yeah, no, yeah. but you know what? David Justice isn't playing the social media era. No, you I remember. Yeah. So if he, I mean, he retired from baseball like in two thousand, like. Two or three or some shit. So I mean, if he was, how's he not verified though? So uh, I mean, uh, listen, man, <laughs> it's all possible. There was a time when Ariana Grande was not popular, and she had a uh, what was those those Google? <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm gonna bring this up. This I'm gonna bring this around. Okay, Google. What's that? Uh, there was like a Google social media app. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, go, uh, Google, pl- not play. Uh, it was Google. Yeah, it was like the Google whatever. Yeah, it's like the Google, like the original Google Home or whatever. Yeah. Um. She was on that, and that was like the best. Like, she would you, she would just start up chat rooms with all her fans and stuff. Yeah, and you were in there. I was in there, dog. <laughs> I told her I was going to send her a letter asking her a problem. She was like, "Do it," and then I did, <laughs> and then I did, <laughs> and then no one responded. You no, know, no, she sent me she sent me back a, a signed picture and said she couldn't make it. Wow. Yeah. Is it hanging in your room? Of course it's hanging in Fire. my room. Fire. Of course it is. It said Luke, lots of love. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of L's. It's yeah. <laughs> Triple L, baby. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I think that was on purpose. All right, so lead us off, buddy. What yeah, do you got? buddy. I mean, let's talk about this Travis Scott song. 
this new Travis Scott song because I was listening and to the merch on, and the merch. We're gonna get to the merch. Okay, yeah, let's just we'll see. get to the merch let's first. Do one, one but by the one. So- how do we feel about the song? The song is like every other Travis Scott song. Um, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's good. It's good. It's a little. If, if I'm being completely honest, it was a little underwhelming. Yeah, I think the production on it was not as. Uh, it was clean, but it wasn't. It you know, didn't wow me. As much as uh, some of his earlier stuff has. Well, no, because when you first heard Travis Scott, you were like, wow, wow, look at all this crazy stuff happening. You're like, this is great. But then now you hear the same sound, you're like, cool. Okay. You know, you're not like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, that's the main reaction. How do we feel about the merch now? Merch is I. Right. Merch is garb. Yeah. That's me. It's, it's, some of it is I. Right. I mean, not nothing I would go ape shit for. It all looks one, like... Uh, hoodie? You like the yellow hoodie? <laughs> I actually like mm-hmm. the shorts, the the, uh, shorts. the highest in the room shorts. Yeah. It just all looks like a kid helped him make it. It, mm-hmm. it like it's all like two hand. It's like two hand drawn now. It's like two off to the left. It's yeah. like two like like overwashed. I guess it's mm-hmm. like yeah. They're trying not to be tie dye distressed tee, but like the whole thing is like one crease. You know, it's mm-hmm. like this is there. There's that weird camo. They're trying to bring like woodland camo, which is the wackest of all the camos mm-hmm. into their uh, production. You know what I'm talking about, right? I know you're talking about. You're talking about like real tree. Yeah, it says real tree. That's what it's called. The one that makes it look like you're a part of the tree. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's the worst one. What's the worst one? Ah, digital camo. Digital. Yeah. Digi camo. Yeah. Uh, Let's look at some of this stuff on Travis Scott's website right now. Yes. Produce us. Pull them up, and I'll argue with Luke about the camos. Like you don't like digital camo. Like a nice gray and blue digital camo. I don't even like bubble camo that much, to be honest with you. I think the regular woodland camo we all know and love, the basic camo. Tiger. Tiger's up there. I think Tiger's Asian. Tiger is supreme. Asian. Asians really own Tiger, if you ask me. Absolutely. Uh, And then um, desert camo is. Flames, but only in the desert colorway. Like you can't yeah, do yeah, a yeah, woodland yeah. colorway no, no, in a no. desert camo. No, no, no. And then, nah, real tree is great. Real tree's right up there. If you ask me, I disagree. I don't like real tree. That's okay. Real tree seems very. It's impractical in streetwear. But that's what makes it applicable. If so you ask me, we got the highest in the room hoodie. Ninety five dollars. Oh, Ninety five dollars for a fucking hoodie. For a fucking hoodie. It's uh, not even like a special. Like the, the material can't be that great mm-hmm. either. It's a Jordan hoodie. It's the Jordan. one. The one I have. Mm-hmm. From him was uh, like one thirty five, the um, you oh the joint you bought uh yeah la- uh last year with yeah, the, yeah. he was on tour with the tour merch. It, oh, our yeah, our plan yeah. was to buy the merch so we can get the pre sale and then uh-huh. we'll get the tickets and we'll all go mm-hmm. yeah and then I bought the hoodie, uh-huh. no one else bought anything and uh-huh. then we all forgot to buy tickets. Actually, That's I bought a, I bought a, a oh no yeah Virgil. you got the Virgil thing that's yeah. right which I have you guys seen him live yet no no yeah you uh, have no. You can do this. We no. believe in you. Yeah. No. You have not? Were you trying to think if he opened for somebody? Yeah, I was trying to think. Yeah. He's a fucking great performer. Yeah, he's a great performer. I've seen his live shows. I've I seen... mean, I saw him at the Super Bowl, but yeah. not like at the Super Bowl. Just right. Just watched the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you I watched was... the Super right. Bowl and he happened to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go for sicko mode. I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't... For, uh, that uh, fireball that came in, it wasn't like I was waiting for that. No. You know? I thought we were going to get a, a SpongeBob... Uh, halftime show that, for a second. Yeah, and no one got that reference. No one got that? No. I think a decent amount of America got that reference. I don't know, because if 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 anyone in the Super Bowl like, committee knew what they were doing, they would have had the SpongeBob part there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. It's, you know, it's they, they don't like appealing to millennials. Um, what we're talking about is the halftime show from last year's Super Bowl, where right. they Travis Scott did sicko mode. Uh, that's when they premiered the ones, right? Uh, he was wearing the sixes, the sixes which, which, which come are, out tomorrow. Which, yeah. as of Thursday, October tenth, we're recording this episode tomorrow. The Travis you guys, Scott sixes. You put out for raffles? No, uh, yeah, I put out for raffles. I didn't do shit. You didn't do shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go for them just on the sneakers app because it's a regular, like it's a raffle drawing. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll I'll give it a shot well, if anything. Let's let's discuss that. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, we, can, that's we can break this down. That's okay. a huge, let's do this. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to get a raffle in mm-hmm. or like you know for the the draw. Yeah. It is sometimes sneakers can give you so many errors. Right. It it literally like it it could be a shit show for 10 minutes. Like people can't get in, people can't, you know, say, you know, send out the information. It happened uh, actually today with the Sakai Blazers. Yeah. Where people were I couldn't for like 5 minutes I just couldn't enter. Like it would just like kick me out, kick me out. Now this really? is at, in the morning at like around 10 this when is they normally 10 a.m. Yeah. yeah, so they do a 10 minute draw. Yeah. 
this morning I they I went for the Sakai blue. Now I didn't want either one of them. No. But I just wanted them to flip. flip. Yeah, yeah. Asian sizes. Asian sizes. <laughs> Asian sizes. Asian sizes. So I went for a nine. As and you should. Uh, and it took me like I, I literally couldn't put my my credit card information. I had to do an Apple Pay because every time I tried to put my it made me put in my shipping address. Yeah. Which uh normally it doesn't do that. So I just it clicked on Apple Pay and then it had all my information. But uh, tomorrow, and by the time this episode releases, obviously, you, you know, you will either you have, have even one your or, W's or your L's. Your right? L's. Which we know it's. Uh, w- it's we're probably, praying for a dub, but yeah. we know you got it now. You yeah. know? I mean, listen, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 the last few months, I've been pretty, pretty lucky on certain yeah. things. But I mean, it all, you know, it, it all depends on um, just if you can get your entry in. I mean, yep. because that's, that's the biggest part of the battle. Right. That's it showing happened, up. It happened with the Sakai waffles. Like, uh, you know, like people couldn't get their entries in. Some people, it was almost like feast or famine. If you were able to get an entry in, you had a good shot at winning at least one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so that I think you know the last couple of Travis Scott releases haven't been uh, raffles. Yeah. Well, they've been leos. Let everyone in. Mm-hmm. But it's been so bad that people just couldn't get. I don't, I don't know if you guys try for the Travis Scott ones, but I remember. The oh. the highs yeah. were uh, <laughs> it was like a thirty minute process of people just being kicked out, kicked oh. out. You couldn't. <laughs> he's, like, he's having a hard time. Yeah, uh-huh. it's a war zone. I remember where I was. <laughs> where were you? I was. Uh, it was was a Saturday. Release? It was a Saturday morning. It was a Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. I was working at the store. Uh, so I was taking a phone call. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody was looking for like a, a back issue of a comic book. Mm-hmm. They were like, "Oh, I'm looking for like Spider Man 306," and mm-hmm. I was like, "We don't got that. I'm hanging up right now. I don't got time for this right now." <laughs> it was yep. 9:59, uh-huh. and then I put in, and uh, it went in smooth. Mm-hmm. But then it was <laughs> that's like, what she said. Yep, <laughs> 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 it was uh, like a 10 minute wait, <laughs> and for those 10 minutes, mm-hmm. oof. You could not talk to me. I was the worst customer service representative of all time. Mm-hmm. People were like, where's this Spider-Man action figure? It's like, we don't got it. Where's where's this Captain America figure? Sold out. Come back two weeks later. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of my face. And then for the rest of the day, I was just sad. <laughs> I was just sad. Mm-hmm. 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 It's just sad. You ever seen a sad man working at a comic book store? <laughs> yeah, it's not a good look. <laughs> most of them? <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, listen, if you work at a comic book store and you're sad... Fix that shit. You work in a comic book store. Mm-hmm. Be happy. Mm-hmm. You know, just stop. Don't listen to the kids. I don't think it has much to do with the uh, the comics as yeah. uh, the rest of their lives. Yeah, maybe. What are you <laughs> trying to say? <laughs> I don't appreciate this man attacking anything, me. No, I'm not attacking you. Let's talk. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about these Jesus uh, Air Maxes. Oh, the Water Max. The 97s. Jesus Maxes. Are you familiar with these, L? No, I just no, I just like how we just said fuck Trav, we done. <laughs> we done. That's it. Jesus. No, I don't know. Yeah, well, let's go back to well, Trav. I mean, you have anything you want? Yeah, and no, done? I, I think to, like I said for those of you guys listening, it's gonna be a shit show tomorrow. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, it's gonna be a bloodbath. If you uh, if you're able to get in, good luck. I mean, I think there's a decent amount of pairs. I think, uh, but the hype is real. This is, hype I mean, is you know, it's funny. I I I said, you know, from a technical shoe standpoint, I was like, the Sakai's are like. Waffles are like the shoe of the year, but yeah. from a hype standpoint, yeah, Travis, yeah, kills this, this year. Is yeah. Literally since February, we've been building to this moment. Well, since I mean, since yes, yeah, since the Super Bowl, but yeah. we, we've seen the Travis Scott ones, the highs, you know, yep. and then we saw the lows. Yep. And, and even today, I don't know if you guys uh, saw, but uh, uh, Randy Moss did an ad for uh, Jordan. No, what? he did it. He was wearing, yeah, Randy Moss. Get out of here. Uh, That's it, my guy, one of the all-time Patriots. Oh my god, he played, he <laughs> played for the Patriots for like three, four seasons, bro. Brady Moss, you can't have Darrell Revis, but he did have. <laughs> I mean, he had one of the, statistically one of the greatest uh, wide receiver uh, seasons ever. But yeah, Travis Scott. So he uh, he has a uh, he has an ad with uh, Randy Moss. And I don't know if we can play because I know last time we got in trouble. No, no, we didn't music. get in trouble. They were just like, "Yo, we know what you're doing." Oh, I I didn't see this. Wow. So Randy Moss, <laughs> wow. hilarious for Cactus Jack. Yeah, if you just go on uh, Travis's Instagram, it's right there. Yeah, and re- and it's so funny because Randy Moss is a huge fishing guy. He's like from West Virginia. He's from like <laughs> the, the boonies and shit. And the way they played it off with him and Travis, most of streetwear are big fishing guys based on the vest that everyone wears now. Based yeah. on the fishing, the fishing vest. Yeah. So it's uh, it's dope to see uh, Randy Moss uh, get love with, with Jordan Brand, well with Travio. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get some more Randy Moss merch in here. Randy Moss. <laughs> Randy Moss merch. Yeah. 
You guys, well, you, I mean, you, like, you saw Randy play, um, Chris, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Did you see Randy play? I didn't really get a chance to. Okay. No. Yeah, it was a little bit uh That was, um, he was on the Patriots when I was probably at my peak uh, football attention because I was in high school. And that's um. like, uh, it was like, if you didn't watch sports, Chappelle show, or I'm trying to think of other hype shit that was hot in high school. Like there was a couple of things that if you didn't watch, you had nothing to talk about the next day. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Football was one of them. So when Monday came around, if you weren't talking football, then you were, like, you couldn't be in any conversation. No. Nope. Chappelle show was another one. Um, yeah. But yeah, that I, those are the main two ones. Those are hard to talk to anybody the next day if you didn't watch it. So yeah. Randy Moss was. Randy Moss was fucking during that time. He was mm. too mm. <laughs> insane. Insane Tell me insane. stories, you old man. <laughs> Tell me stories of Randy Moss's <laughs> success in the NFL. <laughs> well, Brady threw it to him, and uh-huh. he caught it. And he caught the ball? <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it, buddy. Wow. But let's get let's get to your Jesus, oh. uh, Max's. Because... Oh, hold on, real quick. Before we do that, I, wanna, oh, okay. I just want to say uh, the, uh, the greatest Randy Moss game to me is uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving, 1998. Okay. They played the Cowboys. Is Randy Moss had 49ers? No, it was he was with the Vikings. He, oh, Vikings, 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 Vikings. That's right. He wanted to play with Dallas so bad. He he wanted to, but he had a lot of issues coming out of college. And right. Shit. So the Cowboys, they they uh they passed on him partially because you know they had Michael Irvin or they, you know they, in the yeah. past they had Michael Irvin. They were like they, we don't want to deal with another like wide receiver that's a head case. So he said, all right, <laughs> I'm gonna get their ass on Thanksgiving Day. Three catches, 163 yards. Ooh. Three touchdowns. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. So he had catches. three catches. That's three touchdowns. That's a lot of yards. Three touchdowns. Three ca- like that's like some epic shit right yeah. there. So Randy is you know he is one of the goat. Him, Jerry Rice. Yeah. You know there. You know he's up there, man. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. yeah. He's top ten. I would say San all time. Top ten. Holmes. No, I say he's top five. <laughs> I, he's, I'm being just making sure I cover yeah, my bases because yeah, yeah. I don't he's know football that well, but top ten to me. Yeah. Top five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's let's switch gears. Hopefully you guys, like I said, you get your Travs and uh, now we're going to what, Air Max? What? Well if you do if you do get the Travs, put them in the Discord. Oh, that's right. Put them in, put the, them Discord. in, put them in the Discord. Get in the Discord. Get in the Discord. Show off flex flex your W's. That's right. Flex your W's on the on the Discord. Yeah. Your your normal friends won't appreciate your sneaker wins, you know? They're just gonna be like, Oh, okay, you got a pair of shoes. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. But us, we're gonna be like, Wow, that's amazing. You're the greatest person on the planet. Mm-hmm. Right. We that's hope what we're gonna we, say. a bunch of women suck your dick. We're yeah. just praying for you, buddy. We're praying for you. And all oh. you're gonna get is a bunch of dudes giving you props. <laughs> <laughs> women won't give a fuck about it. <laughs> hey, no, 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 not. No. They're not gonna be like, Oh, not look, at you all. got Travis Scott sixes? Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. you're so hot. No, they're just gonna be like, What the fuck are those? Yeah. And why is there a pocket on them? Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> is there weed? What are you pocket? putting there? Your condom? Loser? Shut up. I never I'm telling you, man, I could wear I could wear the most fire sneakers yeah. and, and the only thing that I will get is dudes being like, Yo, bro, you yeah. got them yo, I remember having them shit. So yeah. uh-huh. I want them shits, man. Yep. So, you know, guys, don't do it for the women. Do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the L promise right there. That's the L that's the L facts of day uh-huh. of the day. Fact of the day. <laughs> fact of the day. It's gonna teach you. L fact of the week. Or El Facto. You out, you out here <laughs> buying you out here spending Five thousand dollars on a pair of sneakers, thinking women. No, do it for yourself. Wait, did you sell the thing you were thinking about? Well, I mean, I'm definitely. I mean, I put a quote in, and, okay. uh, and I mean, God damn, there's there's no way you can hold on to those. I mean, what they're where they're at. I mean, that's like insane. Just to remind the listeners, um, you know, the Jasper King over here has yeah. a pair, uh, dead stock, unworn, they're unworn, Ooh. ten years old. So uh, now the quote out there is. It's pretty. It's, it's pretty, pretty high. high. Pretty so high. you're thinking about pulling the trigger. You got the I'm quote. Thinking, I'm up. thinking about dropping them off, and, and you know, and, and I've been monitoring. They had a size 11 in there. Size 11 is not there anymore. So either the person took it down, sold, or the person just took them out. But I'm right. guessing they sold because now what they were in there for is almost like what they were selling them for was like a third of what they want now. So uh-huh. okay. So I'm just like, you gotta let, you gotta, dude. There's no, what are you wearing one time and then be like, ah, oh, look at me, I'm, <laughs> yeah, dude, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Mm-mm. so my man about to pay rent for a whole year, <laughs> yeah, off, off of fucking off of <laughs> shoot, and you know it's fine. I, I don't know if I ever told the story, man, but I, I was, uh, I was living in my own apartment, and I remember I was working overtime, and I was like, yo, Lawrence, you can either get, uh. 
a TV, a flat screen TV, uh-huh. which was mm-hmm. like it was like a plasma. And I remember ba- this is back in back the day. In the day. Yeah. This is ten, 10 years, years ago. ago. So a plasma screen and you're that's a flex. So well, yeah, people were you know they were like, oh, you're like I got the fourth state of matter in my TV. Yeah, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know it was like, oh, you like sports? Like this is great for sports. Yeah. You know, it would have been like a forty. Uh, it would have been like a fifty inch plasma or whatever. And it was going for like a thousand dollars. And I was like. Then I also was like, well, Lawrence, what about these Kanye West sneakers that are $1,000? You love Kanye. And it was just like one or the other. And I <laughs> chose the sneakers. One of the best decisions best I think decisions I've ever you've ever made. made in my life. That plasma screen would have gotten you $60 today. That plasma t- They no, can't throw not even. You can't even, like, yeah. I don't know where you could buy a plasma TV right That's now. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's just bananas. That's, Shit is insane. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, I want to talk about these Air Messiahs so bad. Talk about them. Talk about them, dude. I love them. I love them so much. They're... Why? Because you like disco boots? Like, no. What? At... Wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was an episode of Samurai Jack when I was a kid where the guy had like the platform boots and he had a little fish like yeah. swimming around mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Influenced my life totally. <laughs> and I was like, oh, one day I'm gonna own a pair of shoes with water, with water in, the soul. in the sole, and then eventually That's with a hilarious. fish in there. Well, these are customs. These aren't are they? Custom- are they? A pair of Jesus ins- designed by MSCHF. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. Um. Duh, 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 duh. So you could technically just like get. You know, a turkey baster. Yeah. And, and like, it, poke hey, a hole. yo, a turkey baster? What the fuck? You trying to get pregnant, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You fucking turkey Come baster. On, man. You can freeze some eggs, too, bro. <laughs> get out of here. What you know? gotta talk about? <laughs> fucking groupie. Get out of here. Turkey <laughs> baster? What's wrong fuck with you? Fuck out of here. You trying to come up for 18 years? Come on, man. Dick, what are you get out of here, dog. About? That's what you never, heard, you never heard of people say turkey. You never heard of the turkey baster? Have you heard of a actual turkey baster? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you thinking of that before you think of the. Real one. Ah, you son of a bitch. Nah. Uh, I'm disgusted at you. I can't believe you could do <laughs> to that. To our listeners out there, Chris is out here turkey basting. Turkey uh, basting. <laughs> turkey basting. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Right before the holidays, too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you turkey basting hoe. Yeah. You're fucking How trying, you? to, trying to get paid for 18 <laughs> Yo, years. Yo, get the years, fuck out of here with shit. I'm uh, not letting you get this narrative off. Uh, you turkey based uh, bitch. You're going to fucking find a rich dude. And <laughs> oh rich, my God, yeah. Yeah. Shut that shut up. Get him Mars Yards for your toddlers, you, you fucking, fucking asshole. Turkey based in bitch. Yo, how could you? How could you? Yo, man, I thought back. you were better than that. Nah, man. he ain't better than that. He <laughs> out here turkey based in. Turkey based in like an asshole. Let's do this. Like an asshole. Yeah, man. turkey basting. Maybe you need trash. these shoes, man. Maybe you need to walk with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> just get, you can talk about the shoes. Wait, fucking... there, wait, uh, listen, the, I just, I love the idea. It's so sacrilegious, mm-hmm. you know? I grew up Catholic. We're not supposed, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of things that you're supposed to, like, are no nos in the Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. And uh, making Jesus merch is definitely one of them. And, uh, but all, what are you talking about? Making Jesus merch on your own if it's not if it's not church approved. Oh, if you, the, mm-hmm. the fucking Jesus candles from the bodega they're approved, but not you know some fucking yeah because they're like they're supposed to be like they're supposed to be like holy things you know they're in a bodega yeah there's a cat there to prevent rats from eating the food yeah that's there's a holy cat holy, nothing all right get, there's get a holy off. cat right there <laughs> I mean if that's real holy water that is kind of fire that I find it funny if if it is ho- real holy water that a priest was like what are you gonna do with this yeah what are you gonna... So we're gonna put in a in a shoe. After after I read that, I do kind of like the idea of taking a pair of shoes to like a rabbi and yeah. him going like, "Yo, can you just make these kosher? Make these kosher? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my co- <laughs> my kosher max seven. That's <laughs> what? Yeah, what would you pick if you're gonna kosher one of your shoes? What are you gonna kosher? <sighs> you got to make it approved by the the Jewish the religion. Po- the podcast answer for me would be some leanings, but my real answer, uh huh, um, damn. I'd have to go with Iversons because those are probably like my favorite shoe. Yeah. Questions. Yeah. To Iverson. Uh, it'd probably be a pair of Jordan ones. Yeah. 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 Speaking of Jordan ones. Ooh. Are we uh, are we fans of the shattered backboard three point No, they look like someone crumpled them up. No. What? That's the ones we're talking about, right? They're That's like, what we're yeah, talking the about. Crumpled leather looking ones. Black. Yeah. It's supposed yeah. To, it was supposed to be. It felt like it was supposed to be black and I mean, we've discussed this, but it was supposed to be black and orange. Oh no. And uh, and just like just like a pair of black and red ones, you yeah. know that that co- that blocking leather. Yes. That's it. And then Mr. Gentry Humphrey gets back in Jordan brand, and then all of a sudden we get in fucking Saran wrap. Uh, Jordan what ones. is yeah. that material? 
So now they I don't know what material that is, but it's definitely like a weird pleather. I don't know what the fuck it is. They're putting him in the hands of all the the social media influencers, the DJ Khaled's of the world and man, these are not uh these are not what we were expecting. Oh man, that's really disappointing. Very disappointing. Oh my god. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. look at them all the way around and they just don't look good. Now, we, last week we had a we had a uh, like a half a real talk about materials, right? We, you know, we were arguing about, like what satin was good. Like these are just bad. No, the satin versions of this is way better than yeah. these. Whoever's wearing these, uh, that's just a height chain buy. Like they don't actually know what they're talking about. I agree. Well, what if? What uh-huh. if? But if you do like them, you know, rock them. We're not saying you're, uh, you know, stupid. We're just saying you have no sense of style. What <laughs> if you need to complete the set? That's oh. a fair. Have we really had the complete the set argument on here yet? In regards to these, in general. Well, okay, explain. Um, because um, I mean, it's exactly what you're talking about here. Are they worth the completing the set? Is that concept something that's actually worth doing? Honestly, as a person who has the shadow backboard one point <clears throat> and the two point yeah. I'm not sure if I want the three point to complete well, the set. But as a sneaker person, it's like maybe you do have to complete the set. Maybe. Because they they were selling it, various brands have sold things at sets. But then there's been the long haul over time, something like these. Mm-hmm. But you would have to get the satins to complete the set, if you ask me. Well, why would you if you're a, if you're a size twelve in men's? Why would you complete? You can't complete the set. It's impossible. It's impossible. That's it's, a good. It's almost. It's almost. Uh, as someone who buys something that's not your size, I don't know. Well, all right, here. No, I mean, okay, this is a perfect example, right? Right. Okay. So. Don C's, Don C twos. Uh-huh. Uh, I got the blue ones. Yeah. And I got the the uh, like the the, 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 ca- the tan, off the, yeah, the tan, yeah, tan, the beach sure. one, khaki, whatever. The, the beach, and then um, <clears throat> and then the when the pink version rolled around, I was like, well, it's almost like you got to somehow figure out how to complete the set. But yeah, it did not come out in men's sizing, so it was it was uh, women and children, and friends and family. Uh, were in men's sizing, but it was very few that were right. in men's sizing. Yeah, you'd have right. to put a lot of effort and money. You have into to put a lot those. of effort and money, and like you said, to getting those. So it almost is like, all right, I, I'm not completing the set. I'm not just gonna buy a pair of, to complete, especially when you got the first two at retail. I'm not. I, I'm not a spend above retail. No, I person. I agree yeah. with you. This is an interesting philosophy. Um, so that's the same thing. That's what I'm saying. That's what like satin, like satins. Like if you can't fit them, I mean, what are you doing? Just buying them just to collect them? No, you're gonna buy them to either trade them for something better or to flip them. I think there's two categories in this. If you're a collector, and the idea of like you collect them, mm-hmm. which I think none of us are really fully in that category. No. But it's, it's not many people that are, are collecting. Right. I think if you're a collector. Like more like so, how Doctor Souls. Doctor Souls is more of a collector. Yeah, I feel like us. I don't think he's a. I don't think Doctor Souls. We're gonna get him on the podcast. Yeah, but I don't think yeah. he's a. We collector. definitely have to. Ask I, I mean, he's a guy. He shit. wears all this shit. Follow what's his what's his Instagram it's, just so people can have a reference to this guy. It's uh, his Instagram is uh, Doctor Souls, Doctor Souls Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, and I, I don't think he's a collector. I think I mean he wears the majority of his shit. I don't think he's not. I don't think he would be like, let me get if I got the first two, I need the. Oh, okay, here let's use like a pretty well known sneakerhead and someone like Mayor. Okay, Mayor's right. a very well known sneakerhead. Right. Mm-hmm. I think it, for him to complete the set, he would have to own all of them. Mm-hmm. Someone like us, I think maybe in more in your lane, you have to own the sizes that you can wear. So okay. if it's me and Luke, I think we have to buy. We have to buy all of them. We would have to get the th- the threes for the shattered backboards. You have to get the and the and the satins, and, and the satins yeah. to complete the set. So one, two, three, and ladies. Uh, you know, I because I, I can wear them. You yeah. can wear them, but I mean, is it? I don't think if you have the first ones. Yeah. Do you need the satin? Do you need the the women's version? Yeah, you to got, complete the set. That's I, the set. I just, me personally, I don't think you need that. I understand what you're saying. I, I yeah. mean, I'm not again, even fully disagreeing with you. I I just personally, I think like once again, it's uh, you, I mean, you could have them. I mean, obviously, but I think the set is one point os. Yeah. Two point os. 3.0. I think the set is what what you pretty much define it as, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Because uh, same thing with comic book collecting, where people mm-hmm. will they they're like, oh, I'm only going to collect a covers for all of these books. So like, there's they'll put out like three or four different covers a, a month or a week. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, for, as long as you get one of as the you covers. one of the covers, you have collected the the complete set. Oh yeah, no, that's bullshit to me. I think you need really? all the covers of all ep- all the issues. Absolutely not. 
Huh. It, it's like uh, it's like the Off White series. Yeah. Like it's like do okay. you collect the set of Prestos. Yeah. If you don't have, and it's like okay, if you don't have the set, the three that came out, then yeah. you, do you need to collect? Like you know, what I mean. Also, you, if you have like the fir- the original ten, you know, and you only have, like you have two of the set of the ten, and you're going. Well, I didn't think this conversation was going to be gonna... so interesting. This is because the whole set is yeah. all of the shoes, and then I feel like there's subsets. Okay. So, like a Serena drop. Yeah. If you own both of them, that's the set. You have, you have the complete Serena set. Yes. Right. I understood. Yeah. yeah. So if you own every Virgil shoe, oh, every off white. Travis Scott is another one. One's the highs and the lows. Yes. So you need both. Do you need you both? I mean, you don't need both, bro. I mean, I mean, you would I'm like not, both. You would like them, but I'm saying to complete the set of Jordan, uh, Travis so, Jordan. So, ones, you, so you're telling me if you got the highs, you like, man, fuck, man, like I just got highs and now I don't have lows. No, so I, I ain't got shit. That's like, not. No. So I think it, there is a case by case basis here where it comes right. to like what's important or not, yeah. but you can't say you can you have a complete set of Travis Scott Nike shoes unless yeah. you own all of them. Or unless you own all of them, yeah. That's you including own all the lows. You could just own all the lows. You could own all the highs. I mean, yeah, yeah we could break yeah. this down, I guess, to however you, you want. You could it. cheat it. You could cheat the system. You could cheat it. Yeah. Um, but you would also need to own the thirty threes. Yeah. Too, which was not a hype shoe. No, they couldn't move those really at all. No. They sat on sneakers for a long time before I saw that sold out. Mm -hmm. Even if I did, I don't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Wow. I. Wow. No, that's such an interesting conversation. Damn. Mm -hmm. So does this. Nah, you know what? Yeah, I think we kind of ran our course on that. No, I was just I was just trying to think like because like say someone like Spike Lee. Yeah. Mm hmm. He comes out with a shoe every once in a while, right? Yeah. And he's got some really not popular ones. Mm-hmm. But if you're like a real collector, you try to get every Spike Lee shoe, including like the bad hybrids. Is yeah, that, is that the complete set? You probably would. You yeah, know? I guess so. Get them next to a movie poster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, a Spike Lee movie poster with your Spike Lee shoes. Yeah, but like, <laughs> no yeah. one wants some of those like w- dumb hybrids. No, no, God, no, no. People just want the movie ones. Yeah, they want yeah. the do the right things. They mm-hmm. want the mm-hmm. um other ones I can't think of right now. Mm-hmm. Um, that I own, I can't. What's the what's the twelve? Or no, the thirteen. You can do the it. The white, black. Uh-huh. He got games. Yes. Oh, yeah. He got games. Finally, Chris asked the question that yeah, he that, that you know <laughs> that you Lawrence know. was able to get there. Oh man, <laughs> this is the first one. First time. Episode 82. No. We're making history No, here. don't Jason, do that. Uh-huh. Jason Witten. I ask many well, there's questions. there's a witness here now. Mm. <laughs> All right. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I think that you need to get the satin. That's yeah. just me. I think we need to put different uh, liquid materials inside of our Air Maxes from now on. <laughs> That's what I was getting at with these messiahs. Should we have like an elemental pack where like somehow put in fire and then the mud for earth? And then I you're... Would... Yeah, and then we make Avatar shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, you dude. want. Fuck yeah, that'd be fine. I would want to put orange juice and coffee into certain shoes. Have a mimosa max. Yeah, mimosa or... max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, oh man. Speaking of uh, expensive shoes, that uh, uh-huh. uh, did you guys hear about the uh, the off whites that were uh, confiscated at uh, LAX? Yes. I oh, did there was hear a, about these. There was a bunch of there was like two milli two million rocks of, of fake. shit. Yeah, yeah. confiscated. Mm-hmm. Which what what did we cover before? We covered like a three million dollar uh thing that they got at LAX of all Louis shit, right? And like Gucci and the higher end brands. Yeah. 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 China strikes again. I mean We're talking fourteen thousand fake Nikes were seized in LA. Did the patrol put up a picture of them? Uh yeah. So I'm on CNN's website. Yeah. Uh, these are, uh, th- this is what they have. Uh, and these are bad fakes, man. Yeah. Not even I good. wonder how they, uh, get that number. Because it was over 2 million, right? It was like 2 million. Right. They go off of StockX. And well, we'll- no, I'm <laughs> sure, I'm sure they, they go off the retail and, you know, and then. That would be funny. You got 14,000 pairs. But. Uh, I don't know. That's just a weird number. You know, there's one guy in the CNN office that's like, no, those are more than two million dollars in sneakers because if you go on StockX, those are some of these. And are, then there's like another there, guy. There's an there's a, there's somebody else that's just like, uh huh, yeah, okay. There's another guy that was going like, no, but what are the costs? We should like tally up the cost of the shoes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, the uh, the shoes arrived from China at uh, 
Los Angeles, Long Beach, Seaport, and containers marked as napkins. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad choice. you got to pick something with Hell a little yeah. more heft. Yeah, a little here more heft. The, here at the Sup Podcast, we'll tell you how to smuggle in your fake sneakers. Tablecloth. Tablecloth huh? is probably a good answer. <laughs> I think so. Because there's a little bit of heft to a tablecloth. <laughs> uh-huh. So whoever wrote the article said, the sh- these shoes are ones people go wild over. Shoe collectors are sometimes willing to pay up to $2,000 for a pair of legitimate <laughs> ones. That is incorrect. Some people are willing to spend up to Six thousand dollars. Exactly. <laughs> don't mock us, CNN. Yeah, CNN. We're yeah, don't, about this life. Don't just because you're it. not doesn't mean that we aren't. Don't downplay <laughs> what people are willing to spend on uh, on these off white uh, sneakers. I guess off white was the the biggest ones, probably that were uh, confiscated. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Of course. Um, you know, you look at. I mean, goddamn. I mean, these are bad fakes. These are really bad fucking fakes. And you know what? There are good fakes. There are, so there there are, are some really good, good fakes. fakes. Yeah. Um, I went up to one of my uh, buddy's offices the other day, and he had on some Sakai's. Okay. And I was kind of, I was like interested because he's not a sneaker guy. I'm like, there's no way you fucking got those. Like, what resell? Like, what, what happened here? He's like, no, they're fake. I'm like, yeah. really? Because you can easily, yeah, those are ones that. Mm-hmm. It's, those are hard to make good. Those are I've the seen Sakai what waffles? Yeah, yeah, yeah fake waffles. What colors? Yeah. Blue and uh, yellow. Yeah, blue and yellow. Ones. Ooh. Yeah, the blue and yellow. Really? Uh, good blue and, and yellow? Yeah, because I'm looking at them going like, dude, no way. Get out of here. I saw a pair of uh, of yellow and greens when I was just, uh, I, was, I was fantasizing about owning a pair. Mm-hmm. On eBay, I saw a pair. One shoe was literally mm-hmm. a completely different cut from the other. And they were like, Sakai's for realsies, size nine, you could buy them. And it's like, <laughs> clearly these are these are two. They look like two different shoes. Really? Mm-hmm. You know? That's how poor a lot of the, the fakes come through. Uh, not good, but yeah, he was like, he, he was like, yeah, I got them for twenty bucks. What? Wow. Yeah, and they look twenty dollars for yeah, pair. Right? twenty or forty, something like incremental, like yeah. something that it's like maybe like sixty dollars. <clears throat> maybe you thought like you secured a bag, but you didn't. You know? so it's something where I was like, oh, that's pennies compared to what you would pay for the real yep. thing. It was yep. like very small, definitely two digit, digits low. Really? Yeah, and Low-tune. they looked they looked real good. All right. Well, let's speaking of. Uh, Fake and you know yeah. things that are bootleg. Uh, Steve Madden, <laughs> Segway King. Steve, fucking. Man. Did you did you see what was going on? I like, didn't get a chance. All to see. right, well we're gonna. They're off white ones, but not, but also, but with a star. Okay, but so, <laughs> it's like the model, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. Um, these are the let's get sued ones. Look, these are it the, is called the Malone Multi Red. You guys ready? Uh-huh. That's what the whole reason of the Let's Get Sued was. <laughs> Let's sue these motherfuckers for stealing our design. It comes all the way around. We did this last week. We did this last week. Oh my! Steve Madden is listening to this podcast. God, Steve, <laughs> if you don't come on this podcast, I swear to God, we will sue you for everything you own. Oh. <laughs> How much is he selling them for? $140. Fuck. Or four inches free in- <laughs> installments of $35.24. Using Afterpay? I thought you Using said four inches. I was like, wait, four what? inches free. <laughs> wow. Shut up, turkey baster. <laughs> you fucking gross ass turkey four, baster over here. Four inches free installments of $35.24. So, guys, thoughts. Uh, they came in, They come in two colors. Uh, okay. One is the, uh, the, the not Chicago's, Chicago red. And then they have the, uh, and then they have the uh, Travis Scott brown ones. I can't find <laughs> okay. those. So, so, what you're saying is that we could be sneaker designers at Steve Madden, all three of us together. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We were last week. We were last week. <laughs> we were. We designed these, and then we were like, you know what? Uh, this is a great idea. We don't need these for our store. Steve Madden obviously needs these more than we do. Well, let's, let's because uh, we're all doing so well. Let's read some of the comments from. <laughs> okay. The oh hell well. yeah, dude. <laughs> this okay. is what we live for. Quick question: Are these gonna resell? I need a way to afford the Travis Scott sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another person wrote, "Yo, this collab is awesome." Bait, uh, Steve Madden, Q Heart, Converse, Supreme, Off White, Virgil Abloh, Chrome Hearts, uh, Travis Scott, <laughs> Jordan One, uh, so cool. Threatened to off myself so Daddy would buy it for me. <laughs> Hype Beast, Drip, uh, <laughs> Hype Beast, Drip. Uh, uh, then someone else wrote, "Very uniquely designed shoe." I'm very shocked. Uh, the designers that Steve Madden really came up with a shoe <laughs> as revolutionary as this one. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna put in. A, I'm gonna put in a, a review for uh, oh. for a sub podcast. The, the person who wrote this is uh, his his screen name is Virgil A. <laughs> <laughs> Very original. Oh my god! I you know listen. What I, does he have the audacity to call these shoes? 
uh, the Malone Red uh, Multi. Mm. Who's Malone? Uh, I need to meet Malone. Well, I mean, probably <laughs> Michael Jordan's biggest rival, Carl Malone. <laughs> the mailman is going to be rocking these? <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, so then here's the uh, Travis Scott colorway. <laughs> dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> wow. I want to buy it here before they get taken down. Yo, because yo, it, it, it is if, like, Bape was like, all right, let's make Off-White. I, I legitimately, <laughs> yeah. legitimately want to buy these just so that way I think, because I think they're going to eventually be... Like worth something. <laughs> this is what you wear on late night. You have to buy these now. If you're not wearing Jasper, you need to wear these. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> uh, I, someone wrote, I wore these to school and everyone was laughing at me. I knew they were jealous as fuck. <laughs> uh, Virgil Avlo and Travis Scott really did their thing on these. Can't wait for my pre-order to come <laughs> so I can resell them. Oh, man. How do you have any dignity? Um, being a part of a project like that. So here's the thing, right? And I, you know, Chris, you're more in the uh, in the f- design world. Yes. Who the fuck greenlit these? This is exactly some podcast. No, this is what I'll say. Because genuinely, this is what I'll say. So I worked at Sprayground, which at every corner, the DNA of that company was from another. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm not happy about it, uh-huh. but I, I I liked the work, and I liked what I did. Yeah. Not necessarily all the time. But you know where it comes from? It comes from a guy who doesn't know what he's doing, yeah. who's running a company going, what, what's the hot thing? Yeah. All right, we just have to do that. That's why the fucking Sprayground logo is a red box logo. That's why we used a shark mouth on all our fucking bags. Like, he didn't know what he was doing. He was looking at what other people were doing that were hot. Mm-hmm. He's like, all right, we got to do that. We'll try to make our own version, whatever. It didn't really work. It worked at some level. But, like, those, that's definitely, like, Steve Madden going to somebody like, what are these off-white Chicago shoes? <laughs> What's an off-white? <laughs> I heard Bape is good. <laughs> Have you heard of Nego? <laughs> like it's him going like, "All right, we just got to do this." I mean, what? The f- <laughs> I mean, there's multiple people that greenlit this shit. That right. Like, this is a good idea. Yeah. It, it's it's when you work at a company that no one can say no to the boss. That's exactly what that is. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be when the company is. Uh, funneled into one guy making all the decisions okay mm. like when well, it, it's so micromanaged here's the thing though what um that i want to talk about uh with this shoe specifically because this reminds me a lot of uh, i'm reading shoe dog the book uh by phil knight mm-hmm. uh the creator of, of nike yes mm-hmm. and he's talking about the onasuka tigers uh because he used to sell the tigers uh mm-hmm. at, yep, at his yep. stores uh in portland and whatnot um but the main thing is he, they they made the Cortez and they're talking about making the Cortez, which is just a you know it's just a, a limber up and a uh, with like a uh, I don't remember I don't remember the other one um, I think jump up or whatever uh, the two soles put together basically yeah. mm-hmm. um, and then he, he takes the idea and takes it over to Nike to to, to his uh, company yeah what's the difference really between the the only difference is that there's more so, social media coverage now than there was back then yeah but it's also I mean, dude, the, yeah. the thing back then was there wasn't enough innovation in shoe design mm-hmm. yeah. and in manufacturing to allow many innovation. Like, they, they could only make what they could make at the time, is mm-hmm. basically what I'm saying. Sure. Mm-hmm. So that was a product of doing what they could with what they had. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It, he wasn't even necessarily trying to, like, rip something off. No, absolutely not. That, that my friend, yeah. is, like, let's just make that. <laughs> that yeah. is it. I guess so. That's it, dude. I guess so. I tried to come to your defense, Steve. I really wanted to be on your side on this one. Stevie! Steve, I read some books, and I thought maybe if I used my knowledge from books, I could help you. And nobody can help you. I mean, that is just... Yo, I want a pair. How can we get a pair? We can get... I know a guy who works at Steve Madden. Get us three pairs. I might email him. Which which color are you gonna get? Oh, Chicago. 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 What's wrong with you? You don't want the mochas? No, you no, can have the you mochas. Got the mochas. This is Chicago. That's it. <laughs> you can have the Travis <laughs> and not. And, and you know what? <laughs> Travis not. <laughs> yeah. And Virgil told us to put the laces and different sneakers. That is That's true. What he yeah. told us. That's true. That's what Virgil so told us. So we have to take the laces and the zip tie. Uh-huh. So this is fire. That's what Vir- Virgil told me to take my laces and put them in different sneakers. You're going to put your laces The from- Chicago nose. <laughs> the Chicago nose. The, <laughs> the Travis <laughs> knots. Bro, if they, yo, I'm telling you, imagine if the brown ones came with pink laces. Yeah. Oh, uh, bro, I got, uh. a pink la- I got a pink pair waiting at home. I'll yeah. give them to you because that's what you want. You yeah. and I will have the breads. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the lone mocha man <laughs> out here. It'll ta- it'll match my skin color a little bit. Hell yeah, know? dude. There we go. Uh, I'm writing a review for the Steve Maddens right now. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm, the title's already sub podcasted at first. Uh, watch a- episode 81 of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You will see three genius designers. <laughs> He's giving a Yelp review. Genius designers come up with this shoe. <laughs> Say four, because Baco's in there. I Baco put, is in there. I put Baco in there. Baco did uh, assist with the design a little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, four genius designers come up <laughs> with this shoe in approximately 16 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, while you're writing that, I do kind of want to talk about how... Um, how do we feel about the sizing? Is it true to size? Probably. <laughs> yeah, dude. <true. laughs> okay, true to size it is. <laughs> Width? Or do we feel, I think, too wide? Narrow. Narrow? Yeah, I mean, okay, I we'll mean it's Steve narrow. Madden. Think of the customer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you recommend this item to a friend? No, we would not <laughs> because they're stealing our design. What are the cons? Construction, uh, poor quality. Yeah, poor uh, where did you purchase this item? Uh, online, obviously. What are the pros of this item? They're cute. Flames. <laughs> <laughs> One of the checks is cute. Yeah, but you definitely check cute. Cute. Oh they God. are cute. They are cute. It's like, oh, look, you're trying, you know? I like it. Yeah. Uh, I'm literally, after the podcast, emailing the guy I know, yeah. Steve Madden. What are the best uses for this item? Date night. <laughs> <laughs> is that on there? Yeah, of course it is. Look at that. No, special occasions. Special occasions. Dude. Special occasions. When you are not feeling good about yourself and you want to be roasted by your homeboys, that is a <laughs> special occasion. I, so let me ask, let me ask the question. Yeah. yeah. Right? Would you rather wear fake seized off whites that were seized in LA or real uh-huh. Steve Madden off whites? No, I'm going to Chicago nose. I'm I'm wearing the real shit. I do like I do like taking a stance against hype beast culture. <laughs> And just being like, look, man, I can't afford these, right? <laughs> I just can't. Yeah. I want these. I want them real bad. This is what, this is what I'm going to get, mm. you know? If Steve Madden does a whole 10 collection, oh, hilarious. he'd be my favorite designer. Hilarious. Mm-hmm. That'd be the best. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they just, if they just, I don't know, became a parody shoe company, if that's like the <sighs> direction they take Steve Madden that'd from now awesome. on, they just steal, that'd be great. They just steal Bape's like fucking throne. They, as... take, they got the star. I know. Oh, dude, oh, <laughs> incredible! What should we make our name? Should we just make it a combination of our names? <laughs> Virgil Abloh's already taken. Um, I, look, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> damn, Tanner Williams. He, yes, Tanner. It's Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is the greatest shoe. I mean, God. <laughs> <laughs> I am just sure like, you were you you were quick to the gun. Shoe over there. of the year, shoe of the year, right there, buddy. Shoe That's of, shoe of the year. What's it actually called? The Malones? Malone Red Multi. <laughs> multi what? Mm. Multi stolen <laughs> from Mission Different Shoes, mm-hmm. and Virgil mm-hmm. stole them from someone else. So everyone's out here stealing the motherfuckers' designs. Go ahead, Virgil. Go ahead, Steve Madden. Do your thing. Yo, I legit am emailing the guy. After. All right. So if you go to, <laughs> yo, the only thing that would have made it dope is if they put. Oh like, no! I put uh, this review on the mochas. I'm a fool. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a wash now. I got to put it on the. Mo- ah. Yeah, only thing that they should do is put Steve in quotations or something. Like yeah. That. Uh, with not the, quotations. No, the parentheses. Ups- no, oh, that one's not bad. Yeah. Parentheses. Although Red Cancer has that. Okay. I'm thinking the um, the Spanish upside down question mark, and then the other the regular uh, the regular question mark. question mark. Yeah. Oh. Or single quotations, you know, like when there's a quotation within oh, a quotation. Yeah. Oh. They, yo, because he is quoting. He's quoting a quote. He's quoting a quote, mm-hmm. so that's a single quote. Steve mm-hmm. Madden, I hope you're listening to this podcast this week because we just improved upon your shoe another twofold. There is literally no better streetwear podcast. There really isn't. No, it's not. There really isn't. All right. Uh, Shout out to all you trying though. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to all you trying. Mm-hmm. If you go on the mochas, you'll very much see Tanner's. Um, Review, because <laughs> the well the Chicago's are already over flooded with reviews. Everybody loves these shoes too much. Oh shit, that is fire! Yeah. Oh god damn, there was so much we didn't even get to. <laughs> wait, what's uh? Wait, all right, what's wait, up? Let's pretend that no one's listening. Yeah. When is Rob? Is Robbie here? Do you see him? No, we got a couple more minutes. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh damn. <laughs> 
Wow, uh, we're really almost at an hour. Yeah, we're yeah. At, we have to get out of here. Soon. We've been flying by. We've been having fun today. Yeah, yeah I know. Been having fun. Yeah. Eventually, guys. I mean, I know Lawrence doesn't like when I say it, but we're kind of on a time constraint, and I just like to admit when we're on that because we're in a new studio. New studio. And we're not going to be here all the time, but when we are, we are in cut times constraints. Yeah, so. always. Um, <clears throat> I'm just I'm pick stitching this. This is the greatest. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Oh fuck, man! That is, yo. Uh, you know what? The Steve Madden guy that yeah. I know, I met at the Kava spot around the corner. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Let's have him on to explain this in this this shoe. I could. He was like in marketing though. He's not like he. I don't know. I I can't wait to try and speak to him about this though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want. I want fucking. I want result. I want clarification. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to know. I want a discount. That's what I That's want. That's what we all want. I want under retail. Yeah, I yeah. want to pay over retail for these. Wait, shows. how much were they again? You said one forty. Yeah, yo, we get these for for eighty dollars. <laughs> Fire. Who's who's gonna be brave enough to rock these though? I'm, I'm, I'm me immediately. Me too. Yeah, I would rock them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fake it with y'all. You know, no. I would I would do it. <laughs> this is the hardest flex. This is the this is the hey, just fuck fuck the establishment, man. Mm-hmm. We're in it. We're in it, baby. I want to see if this review comes up. <laughs> I don't even really know where to go from here. I'll be honest. Like, there's so many things I wanted to talk about, but then this, I like, don't want to stop talking about this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> what else is there to talk about? I mean, look at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> I'm so mad. It, it just is. It's missing the Swiss cheese hole. That's it. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to talk about the Vibram uh, additional soul thing that I I sent into both of you. Oh, guys, you right? did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what it, are you thinking? Well, this it's just an interesting concept to me because right. it is up very Vibram's alley, right? Mm-hmm. But it is just the Balenciaga Triple S sole. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you guys if you guys go on Vibram's, uh, I'll I'll tag uh, this into the description. But mm-hmm. if you go on Vibram's Instagram, they have a thing where it shows a video of like you can wear any boot. I'm sure it depends on your what size you are. So mm-hmm. you buy like the extra sole in your size, and you basically just step into another sole, and it becomes a Balenciaga shoe. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Cover me real quick while I pull this shit up. L, uh, what, what are your picks for this weekend for football? Shit, man. I'm just trying to stay my keep my head above water, man. Yeah. Fantasy, I'm just trying to win these games, bro. You're not doing well in fantasy right now? I'm three and two in three leagues and oh one and God. four and one. Look at this shit, yo. Oh, look at this. So it's literally this guy's taking like a basic like rock part looking loafer. I, actually, that's probably, mm-hmm. I know the hair is definitely it. That's a guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just makes it a Balenciaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is insane. Any one of your shoes now, mm-hmm. this one has a heel, so I don't know if it's exactly, but I mean, like, yeah, damn, that's a, good on Vibram. They really yeah. capitalized something mm-hmm. on some on a trend in their way on brand. Yeah, in this the only how, way they can. This do is possible. how you capitalize on a on a hype on the hype train uh, properly. Yeah. They, so Off White was using Vibram soles on their early shoe models. Yeah. Okay. Vibe, a lot actually a lot of shoe brands have done it. They had a very basic sole that you could buy that had like a runner style to it. Off White was the one that kind of made it so no one else could use it because they were the most popular at the when they exactly. released them. Yeah, yeah, but they've been just selling soles to brands to make their own sneakers for ever years. And now they're like, why don't we just make one that you could put on other shoes and mm-hmm. make it look like a Balenciaga? That is incredible. I don't know how much they are or where you could buy them or if it's just online or not. But they made them in collaboration with uh, Alex Studio, hmm. which is a like uh, Balenciaga esque looking Instagram. Yeah, shit's bananas. Not the as bananas as the fucking Travis Knotts, but Travis Knotts off pages. Straight down. Straight down. That's sicko mode. <laughs> <laughs> Unwell mode. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, not feeling well mode. <laughs> <laughs> Under the weather mode. Unkept mode. <laughs> Straight. Runny <down>. nose mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Moon staring. The first song. <laughs> All right. Oh, I wish we ended on that. I really don't. Yeah. 
Oh, you know what I you know what I do want to also bring up is uh, Reebok is bringing back the Zig technology. Ooh. They like revamped it. It looks good. Don't yeah. give me that face, Al. Don't give me the sleepy eyes. You see this? See what he's doing? I'm asleep. This yeah. is the, him going like, "Who gives a fuck?" Like, I oh, do. It's Reebok. Oh, some people care, Lawrence. No, you're right, Chris. You're right. I'm sorry, guys. No, they look good. It's like they call it the Zignetic or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it it just it's not as crazy as when they first came out. When they yeah. first came out, the shit was wild. Mm-hmm. But these ones look good. I uh, stand by the third iteration. Yeah, we really, you know, there was one other thing I really wanted to get into, but I don't think we're gonna have enough time because it's really, yeah. uh, you have to really kind of understand the, the inner workings of it. But uh, the NBA in China, I, wa- I wanted to talk oh, about yeah. that too. Yeah. I didn't have enough info, yeah, and I needed to like sit down and really. But I, I brought in uh, a new merch idea this week for you guys. Uh, it, it, I was thinking of bringing in a basketball jersey, but China redacted it, so uh, <laughs> no merch idea this week. Sorry, uh, a sub podcast is tied to a lot of Chinese money, so we don't want to disrespect them. That's true. So no basketball jersey this week. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Yeah, maybe when this is all hashed over, we'll revisit the idea of a basketball jersey for sub podcast. Uh, that's the merch idea this week <laughs> from Luke Trevino. Well, we'll get in touch with Yao Ming. Yeah, Cause he's he's like the president of the Chinese basketball league, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. just like, no more. He's like, no, <laughs> no Houston Rockets, no more. <laughs> he killed off his. That's his team. I know. The ruthless man. How about we start off next week? Yeah. With that. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it's it. We, there's something that you know you definitely have to have a lot of research on because yeah. it's very political. And it's I know. Very, yeah. But uh, we'll go into Supreme Court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll find out. Supreme uh, Court. But yeah, I definitely want to have. I, you know why? I just want to have a real like conversation about it because yeah. it's, it's uh it's gonna cut down the NBA's bottom line, which it's, uh, yeah a lot of you know it's gonna a affect lot of, a lot of different yeah, markets. Even Anta pulled out of uh, shit. Yeah, and R- Rondo was wearing them. It's, yeah. There's a bunch of Clay shit going Thompson on. Thompson yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people, like not a lot of people, but enough people that are wearing. Anta. I heard, I heard Lee Nang was. Uh, they're, they're not are, happy. They're not happy. But, they got Rick Ross though. Rick Ross is there. I d- I do like the the Rick Rosses. So mm-hmm. yeah, I liked him. We shall see. But yeah. I can't wait till wait wait till the day you guys cave and say I was right about leaning. Nope. nope. I will wear fucking the Malone multi reds before <laughs> I wear a leaning. Well, no, we like, we're just we're gonna go buy them. Now. I will wear con- <laughs> yeah. counterfeit off whites that got seized Seas- from yeah LAX from China <laughs> from fucking Korea from yeah. India Indonesia before I wear some leanings no disrespect yeah. no disrespect What's no you are trying to be disrespectful straight up <laughs> <laughs> all right with that being said yeah sub podcast episode number 81 82 82, 82. Jason, Jason Wynn episode Come that's on. right my fault my fault get it right dog. um not that Cheney C-H-E-N-E-Y uh Trevisus Mm-hmm. T R O V E E Z U S L Z D three two five yeah at Sub Podcast N Y C uh, look we got an email uh, Sub Podcast N Y C at gmail dot com you can email us we'll talk about what the questions you have on air you can text us yeah we have a number for the podcast uh, you can leave us a voicemail we might yeah. play it on air yeah um, we have a Discord Discord's getting popping yeah. it is we didn't even get to talk about Baby Mars yards we didn't get to talk about how fucking Babe came out with a fucking sock yeah that has the ninja cut. Okay. Uh, uh, the Yeezy 350 version three is yeah. now the 380. Uh, there's a bunch of shit next week. Next week we got them all. OBJ's cleats. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the fucking um, uh, round two guy, yeah. the, the Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons. Yeah. 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 Um, mad shit. Um, but yeah, go on the Discord, go on the subreddit, uh, go on the Patreon, guys. There's gonna be a bunch of shit. Get it on there. Yeah. Um, and we just appreciate you guys for listening. You guys are the fucking shit. We gotta get out of here though. Yeah. Bye. Later. Peace. That one was fire. Boy, that, that was a good episode. Yeah.